Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this video, uh, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. Bam! In the map. I love to kick a ball. I love to talk about Bitcoin blockchain in life. And in today's video, an amazing video with four amazing Bitcoin charts, some huge travel tip and a beautiful trading tip. Of course, also some live tip. And yes, talking about the news because there is huge news out there that could influence the Bitcoin price. Let's quickly jump into the first part, the Bitcoin charts. Bam. The first chart for today, guys, is of course the day chart in Bitcoin. I'm not zooming in too much, um, but this beautiful chart, I told you when we saw the short signal, we could test that yellow stepping line. And the yellow stepping line is now at 34,230. So we are testing that line now. If we keep support above that one, yes, we can see a move all the way up to that green line on top over there at around 44K, I believe. But if we break that yellow stepping line, then we will visit that red line in the middle around 32K. And if we break that mid line, guys, we can even fall to that green line over there at 29K. And if we break that one, we can visit the Bollinger Band bottom at around 26K. But I don't see that happening very soon because I do think that that red line over there at 28,312, which is the 200 day moving average, will be a massive of support if we fall back and with these prices guys so be aware if you want to get access to these indicators you need to become a bitcoin family vip member you can do so by visiting the bitcoinfamily.com uh, look in the menu and there is a menu products and then you see vip member now let's jump into the next chart this is a zoomed in version of the halving price regression rainbow chart and this chart is showing us that we are now entering the darkish blue bottom again we spent about uh, six months down below uh, that level and now we are entering it again. And mostly when we enter that level, we will visit that midline of the blue area. And that midline of the blue area is at 52,000 US dollar. So in the next couple of months, between now and the halving, I believe we will visit that midline. I believe that around the halving, we will be around that 50k level. So also this chart is confirming that. And if we zoom out with this chart, we can show you even really cool numbers. Let's zoom out. If you zoom out, you can see the complete chart from 2009 over there to 2038 on the right. Now, I now clicked on the 17th April 2024, that's around the halving. Probably it's a little bit later than the 17th of April, but around the halving. Then the levels of this rainbow chart are dark blue, it's like uh, 42. That purple midline is 51. Then we have the upper blue part, the 63. We have the yellow part around 131,000 US dollar top. And the orange top would be 182,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. And the red top would be 251,000 US dollar per Bitcoin. As you can see, if you look to the left, the last top that we reached was that orange line. The top before was that red line. So if we now decrease another top, then we would reach the yellow line, which would be around 130K. That's a beautiful line. Now, if we look to the other numbers, then zoom out a little bit more to 2028. The halving around 2028, look at those numbers. Then the yellow line is around 440K. The blue line at 240K. These are different kind of numbers. That's a shitload of profit in the next like five years. And if we want to see what happens even four years later, we can see that as well. Then that red area will be at 1.9 million per Bitcoin, the orange at 1.5 billion per Bitcoin, the yellow at 1.2 million per Bitcoin, the blue at 740k per Bitcoin, etc, etc. Really cool chart. There is a live link to this chart. You will find that live link somewhere in the VIP groups or maybe even as a comment down below this video. But I love the chart. Really cool to analyze these numbers and to look at a beautiful 1 million up Bitcoin because then everyone that holds a Bitcoin will be a millionaire. I don't know how the inflation will be then. So I don't know what you can buy for a million US dollar at that moment. But at least then once you got the feeling, yes, now I am a millionaire because I had one Bitcoin through all those years. 
Here you can see how exactly this chart is calculated. If you want to read this, pause the video. Uh, you can see how the inputs work and everything. So pause the video now for a few minutes and read it if you want to educate yourself a little bit more. But then we have one more chart today. Uh, this is the liquidation levels heat map. Um, this is on Binance BTC seven days. So we can see where the liquidations would be. If it would fall back to between 33 and 34K, a shitload of longs will be liquidated. If we pump, all the way up between 37 and 38k a shitload of shorts will be liquidated so we can go both ways because at both sides there is liquidations guys and it's also showing you where the resistance and the support would be because if we get liquidated over there that's also probably where there's a lot of buy orders so also uh, a lot of support and the other side uh, if we would be uh, hitting the liquidations at between 37 and 38k there will probably also be a lot of sell orders so also will be a resistance level and i want to remind you guys that at the moment at bybit there is a series ones of the trade masters grand prix uh, you can pick, you can compete for one million dollar usdt prize pool sprint to the annual final so uh, use the link down below to sign up to the trade masters grand prix and you will be able to earn a huge part maybe of that one million dollar usdt prize pool uh, so click the link down below. I hope you really enjoyed the chart guys and especially that beautiful rainbow chart and yes like I said a few views ago we needed to go through the rain to get that rainbow and we had the rain that was a huge bear market a very long one we are in the bull market and we are now nearing the bottom of that rainbow chart again and if we will follow the rest of that rainbow chart we will go to insane heights in the next like 12 years guys look at those halvings beautiful chart i love to zoom out uh, let's quickly jump now into the next part a beautiful trading tip the trading tip for today guys is a very important one if you're a novice trader a new trader because new traders like novice traders they always think that they can open a trade whenever they want that's not true you should be opening a trade when you're dedicated to spend time at the charts at that moment. Don't open a trade when you're like in the train or while you're working at your office or while you're doing groceries or while you're on the beach, like spending time with your family. Of course you can open a trade, but if you're trading while you're on the beach, spending time with your family, you're not fully dedicated focus to the trade. You might enjoy that beach or that fresh coconut or playing with your children in the sea a little bit too much. Oh shit, I forgot I was in a trade. Oh shit, I should have taken profit and now the price came down again. You know that situation? That's why novice trading only should trade when they are dedicated that full day to that chart that they want to trade. That was the trading tip for today. Can you see me or am I one with the picture? <laughs> the travel tip for today, guys, it's a really cool travel tip. Um, if you book your hotels on a travel tip, it is always important that you compare prices. So, for example, I always look at booking.com or Agoda or hotels.com and there's a lot of beautiful prices on these websites. But as you know, we are all in as a Bitcoin family. So we also need to check the travel prices and the hotel prices on those Bitcoin platforms. And for me, I was one of the first one using Travala already, I think in 2018 or 17. I used it to book my flights, for example, to uh, Las Vegas at that time. At that moment, I need to speak at the Litecoin Foundation in Las Vegas. Beautiful event. I got to meet Satoshi Light. I got to meet John Cam and all these guys. Beautiful community at Litecoin. And uh, while I flew there, I booked my flights and the hotel with Travala.com. The links are down below. It's a referral link, yes, of course, but there's like a little, little, little bit commission for me. But if you want to support the adoption of Bitcoin, start to use those projects that offer you their services for Bitcoin. And Travala.com is one of those websites now that has integrated all the hotels in Booking.com, all the airplane carriers, everything that you want to book when it comes to traveling, you can book on Travala. I'm not being paid to tell you about Travala because I've been telling you about Travala already for many years. I think I still have like a little bit tokens over here. I need to check it, but uh, you can use that to do all the stuff that you normally do on booking.com or hotels. Okay. I'm also very honest. Sometimes they are a little bit more expensive. Sometimes they are cheaper. So you need to always compare all the prices of all those websites, booking.com, hotel.com, uh, Agoda and Travala. Just compare them. And if Travala is as cheap as all the others, then use crypto to book for your travels. That's how you support the adoption of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. 
that was the travel tip for today. The news for today, of course, is about Sam the bank man fraud. Or fraud. Or fraud. I think it's fraud. <laughs> I think it's fraud. Even the name, Sam the bank man. When I saw that name in the beginning, I thought it was like all a joke. Sam, like Uncle Sam, the bank man, the man from the bank. He opening a crypto exchange. Out of nothing, this guy comes putting millions in the student industry and growing hugely with a team that wasn't even capable in my house opinion to put this huge company out there but again that's something else but the news came out today so he was sentenced and he was found guilty on all seven charges so there's a lot of fraud money laundering and all the other stuff in total combined it's 110 years of prison if it is up to the american legal system so let's see how that will play out I don't hope for him that will play out like this because I still think he was just a puppet used by the United States that put FTX out there as a Trojan horse in the crypto industry to disrupt this industry and to show how bad crypto is. I really believe that that happened to that whole FTX story. I really think it was supported by the US government and some huge financial uh, people out there that pushed it up to just have it collapse and then they point their fingers. You see, crypto is bad. We should postpone, for example, now the spot ETF. So for me, I don't hope he will be punished really big, but he did steal a lot of funds from a lot of people. So he does deserve punishment. Then he shouldn't have been a puppet for all those people. So for all the other people out there that now want to become a puppet of the governments, I hope you will all go into prison as well, because you deserve it if you are a puppet. We are in this industry to become independent, decentralized from centralized entities. That is why this tattoo is here, anarchy. And it's peaceful anarchy, it's not aggressive, it's peaceful anarchy and it's being built by Bitcoin and blockchain. These tools give us now the possibility to create peaceful energy in a very beautiful way. And that means that we take away the control and the power of centralized governments, centralized banks and take control on our lives back to us as human beings. I'm a real believer that the world would be a better place if there would not be so much centralized pampering and interference of governments and central banks. But that's my opinion. Let me know your opinion down below. The second news for today, guys, yesterday, two news items, is that a huge Swiss bank, St. Gallas Cantonal Bank, I glaube es heißt so, St. Gallas Cantonal Bank, it's a huge bank, one of the biggest banks in Switzerland, they started now to offer their clients trading Bitcoin and Ethereum as a custodial service. So be aware. Of course, it's beautiful. Your banks are now offering you to buy Bitcoin and Ethereum and they will hold them very safe because that will be their whole line of story. If you buy Bitcoin at our bank, it will be safe. But that's not really Bitcoin. Ask your bank before you buy Bitcoins at your bank, am I able to send those Bitcoins to my nephew in the other side of the world? Or am I only able to again sell those Bitcoins to you for euros or Schweizer Franken? It's very important that you understand there is a difference between Bitcoins that you hold self-custody of on your hardware wallet or your ledger or your software wallet or your exchange or Bitcoins that you buy with your bank account at your bank that they hold custody of and you are not allowed to send it out of their environment. That's why I thought it was really big that Revolut, also an online bank, made it possible to withdraw Bitcoins out of the Revolut account into your Bitcoin wallet. A certain amount per month but at least they allow you to transfer your bitcoins outside of the revolute environment i don't know if the swiss bank is also gonna do that the cantonal bank but for me it's beautiful for adoption that normal people now that want to feel safe by buying bitcoins at a bank it's cool because that will lead to more demand for bitcoins but on the other hand those people also need to understand that's not real the power of bitcoin you can't use it the way that bitcoin was intended to be able to use by everyone out there. So that's my opinion on that. And I just don't want to give back the control on this beautiful tool Bitcoin they recreated to the banks and to the governments. Because just understand, if everyone would be buying Bitcoins with their bank as a custodial service, that would mean the banks again would have control on all the Bitcoins. And they would not be in circulation anymore to spend at stores or websites or anything else in an anonymous, in an anonymous way. 
So it's very important that you understand that it needs to be be your own bank. Hold your bitcoins in self-custody, be your own bank. You can do the same job as the banks and even better if you fully start to educate yourself in Bitcoin and become your own bank. It's getting windy. I hope it was not disturbing the sound too much. Uh, we come now to the point of a question for today. It was a question by a follower. It's down below here now. You can question it in the screen. Uh, the question was something like, um, if you have a shitload of profits in your Bitcoin or Ethereum, which is your biggest hold of your portfolio, will you use those profits to invest in altcoins because they could even perform better um, in this next bull run than Bitcoin or Ethereum? Now, I'm a hardcore Bitcoiner, so my biggest part of my portfolio is indeed in Bitcoin. And about 30 to 35% of my portfolio is in altcoins. And I do believe that that 35% of my portfolio could grow faster and bigger than Bitcoin. But if Bitcoin's spot ETF will be approved, then Bitcoin could really outpace that whole alt industry. And of course, there is always these gems that will do like 1,000 times or 10,000 times. Of course, they are there. But you need to be very lucky to be in those. Bitcoin is a very stable investment, if it is to me. That showed what it did in the last decade and that can do a shitload more if a shitload of liquidity through the spot ETF will flow into this industry. Then we can see a massive bull run. And yes, of course, there's altcoins that can make a massive bull run as well. That's why I have an altcoin portfolio. And if you become a VIP member of the Bitcoin family, the links are down below, or you go to the bitcoinfamily.com and uh, you will find in the products menu VIP member. If you become a v member, VIP member, you get full access to that altcoin list. Because it was very simple for me to analyze when we were at the bear market bottom, where are the altcoin prices at that moment? What was the previous altum high of the altcoin? Was it like seven times higher or 10 times higher? Okay, that's a beautiful investment opportunity. I will buy a little bit of that altcoin. So yes, I believe there is altcoins that will do 10 times or 15 times, and Bitcoin will probably only do like seven or eight times the bear market bottom. So yeah, for me, altcoins can make more profit, but you need to be very careful with which altcoins you will select. And still, I think safest play at the moment is Bitcoin, because I do believe if the spot ETF will be approved, we will see a Bitcoin run that we never saw before. Plus, I do think when that spot ETF will be approved, that a lot of people that hold a shitload of altcoins will be selling those altcoins to quickly jump on the Bitcoin train because they really believe that Bitcoin will jump really high because of that. So then the altcoins will lose liquidity, they will drop in price because everyone is selling the altcoin, selling, selling, selling to buy Bitcoin. Bitcoin will make then a massive run because of the adoption of spot ETF, yeah, because also of the retail FOMO that's selling their altcoins to buy Bitcoin and those altcoins will drop. So then Bitcoin will create even more return of investment than those altcoins. So I think it's very important that we all realize, and I'm saying we all realize, that this bull cycle could be the first bull cycle where institutional adoption really is flowing into this industry. And that what I mean, and I mean with that, into the institutional money that will flow into this industry. And that's trillions of dollars. And we have never seen trillions of dollars moving into Bitcoin before. So if that will happen like that, then I think Bitcoin will grow. And I think there will be a shit of the FOMO and all the altcoin holders will sell their altcoins to ride that rocket to the moon for Bitcoin. So be prepared for a very exciting uh, bull market. That's only what I can say. And I'm staying in Bitcoin as much as possible, 35% in altcoins. That was my answer to your beautiful question. Which brings me to the inspirational part of today, guys. The inspirational quote of today is, um, you can spend your whole life in drawing lines beautifully, but you can also spend your life in crossing those lines. And I think it's very important to find a really beautiful balance in between. It's amazing to draw lines, to draw plans, to draw your future. But it's even more amazing if you start to cross those lines, those boundaries that you have set for yourself by listening to other people or stories. For example, we are all afraid, for example, to run into a lion on the street. Because everyone told us, Lions are dangerous. They will eat you. They will attack you. They will kill you. So that's like pre-printed in our brain. If you see a lion, run, <laughs> you know? 
Well, who says that's true? Did you ever experience it? Did you ever cross that line to check if that is true? Maybe that lion would be like a big pussy cat, like giving you your heads, like, ooh, meow, meow. I don't know. It's just a weird example that just popped into my mind because I'm looking there at a beautiful painting with this lion head type of girl. <laughs> so, but that's what I mean. Like, you can draw the lines or you can have the lines drawn for you. But it's all about, if you draw the lines, also cross those lines. Try new things. Prove the truth for yourself. Is the earth flat? Is it round? We don't know. We will know the moment that we can prove it for ourselves. So it's very important that you need to experience everything before you believe the truth that everyone is telling you. And you achieve that by crossing the lines. Because all the information that gets into your head, that's the drawing of the lines. And you need to cross over the lines to be confident and understand and believe that that was the truth that you were being told. So it's beautiful to draw lines, but it's even more beautiful to cross the lines. That was everything for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, leave a comment. What do you think about the charts, about everything else? Uh, I wish you an amazing Friday, Saturday, an English AMA, Sunday, a Dutch AMA. What more do you want? Beautiful weekend. See you tomorrow again. Bam.